Item number SCP-6588, Security Level 3, Containment Class Euclid, Disruption Class Vlam. Risk Class Notice, Special Containment Procedures. The broad community of SCP-6588 is housed within Room 5B at Site 86. The population of 6588 should not exceed 500. After a sugar high event, the eldest instances should be disposed of until the population is back to 500 or fewer. Along with the daily feedings, SCP-6588 are allowed to be given arts and craft materials for use in the construction activities, including popsicle sticks, pipe cleaners, tape, cardboard, and buns. Extraction of all built objects and replacement with new raw materials is to be carried out on a monthly basis. The only objects that should not be removed are those located on the premises where sugar high events take place, those being the five purple circles and the tree made from cardboard and crumpled paper. Description SCP-3588 is a species of animate candy whose appearance largely resembles that of Sour Patch Kid candy. SCP-3588 form large groups, scientifically known as a glucose of SCP-3588, with all currently contained instances being part of a single glucose of SCP-3588. Authority objects Form relationships with single other instances of the same color. All entities will work with one another during the building of structures. All SCP-6588 instances are sentient and show monogamous tendencies with instances of shared color. No differences in sex or gender has been observed in SCP-6588 with both partners conducting daily routines alongside each other in equal parts. Although the objects form bonds with a single other instance, these preferences are disregarded during sugar high events, in which all instances interact with one another regardless of relation or coloration. As of the current documentation, the glucose of SCP-6588 at Site-86 is made up of 500 active instances. SCP-6588's diet consists of honey and cubes of caramel. The species requires sleep, but no recorded slumber has lasted longer than three hours. At all other times of day, SCP-6588 can be observed building structures utilizing the provided arts and crafts materials. Though these structures often mimic those found in human society, no SCP-3588 has yet been observed to utilize any of their typical purpose, suggesting that while SCP-3588 are able to replicate human structures, such as dwellings or vehicles, they do not process the sapiens required to utilize them in any meaningful way. Addendum 6588-1 Log of a Sugar High Event The following log details the ritualistic practices performed by SCP-6588 monthly in order to induce procreation. Begin log 0 seconds to 29 seconds 50 SCP-6588 instances gathered together in the center of the containment chamber around the cardboard tree. Glucoses of 10 instances gather in each of the 5 purple circles, each circle containing a single color of SCP-6588. 30 seconds to 55 seconds, one object of each color is sent forth to embrace one another at the center of the aforementioned tree. 36 seconds to 1 minute, these 5 instances proceed to lay down in a circular pattern approximately equidistant from one another. One minute and one second to two minutes. A viscous purple substance is secreted by the tree's trunk, 
spreading until it reaches all instances' feet, and only stopping once the lower eighth of each entity is coated in the liquid. Two minutes, one second to four minutes. Instances return to their respective groupings, where they proceed to spread droplets of the substance between all present until each has at least some attached to the bodies. 4 minutes 1 second to 8 minutes 26 seconds. All 50 instances proceed to the center, where they gather in a large file and proceed to writhe around between one another. This process causes the purple substance to spread throughout the mass. 8 minutes 27 seconds to 15 minutes 34 seconds. As the substance spreads, it shifts colors to those seen in SCP-6588. When the modified substance comes into contact with an instance which shares the same coloration, it will harden and form a bump on the front surface of said instance. After at least three of each color have newly formed bumps, the ritual concludes, and all objects return to typical behavior. End log. Addendum 65882 After Report Documentation regarding the progress of affected SCP-6588 instances after ritual practices.